Frisia has the ambition to become the emperor of the universe. He wants to return to being respected and feared as he was before. We know that after he was defeated by Goku in Z, a great frustration took over him. He began to feel empty and that paradise with a beautiful garden and cute and fluffy beings was hell for him, a true humiliation. We know that Frisia has nightmares from those years to this day. The reality is that it made him wake up to life whether he wanted it or not. After all he, he was always comfortable with his enormous power, thinking that someone capable of defeating him would never emerge, which is why he didn't train or seek to perfect his powers, and Goku made him train for the first time in his life. For a period of four months, where he simply achieved his golden form, later reaching even greater power with the black form, which far surpassed the powers of Goku Ultra Instinct and Vegeta Ultra Ego, some fans believe that he has reached or even surpassed the God of Destruction from Universe 7, I don't believe that. After all the God of Destruction already stated that it would take millions of years for Goku and Vegeta to overcome him, and Frieza trained for just 10 years to reach the black form, that is, according to mathematics. Frieza has not trained enough yet to be a match for Beerus. The reality is that it is very unlikely that any mortal will surpass Beerus so early in the arc. After all he is the most powerful Hakation in all the universes, not to mention that there is only a universe that has a mortal more powerful than a Hakation among 13 universes. So it will take a long time for someone from Universe 7 to reach Beerus, and this will make Frieza even more frustrated. Because think about it, Frieza wants to rule all universes according to himself, that is, he wants to take Zeno's place. This even reminds us of Lucifer who wanted to steal God's throne and failed miserably. The reality is that as long as Frieza doesn't leave the gods of destruction afraid of him, he will be unable to rule over all universes. After all the gods of destruction are the most influential beings in a universe, they control everything, the angels, Kaioshins and Kao lords, why do you think everyone in the universe respects Zeno? Exactly, because the gods of destruction respect him first, because they are afraid of the Omni King. Where do I want to get to? Frieza still doesn't have the ability to frighten Beerus or the other gods of destruction. Who is he in the Dragon Ball hierarchy? So that's why he won't be able to fulfill his dream anytime soon, and no matter how cold he is, he may end up crying because of it. Yes, believe me and want, some may even find what I'm going to say funny, but when it actually happens I, I'll remind you of what I said. Frieza can cry at the arch because he sees that yet another dream of his has been frustrated, exactly. His dream of being immortal, his dream of extinguishing the legendary Super Scion, and his dream of being the emperor of all universes, his dream of ruling above Zeno, all of this goes down the drain. There are some ways for Frieza to achieve his dream faster, but that is a topic for a future video. That's it for now, don't forget to leave a like if you like my theories and analyses, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching this far, and I'll see you in the next video, yes.